Okay, so we are on day 12 after um, Baxter's penectomy, which was his ear removal. He had the ear removed because the vet thinks he has can had cancer in the ear. The ear was removed, um, and now he is recuperating very well. Um, as you see, he, um, he has an ear wrap on, and the ear wrap keeps him from scratching at the at the incision he'll be going back to the vet in two more days to get the stitches or sutures out so what we want to do today is we've removed this occasionally he's the very best patient ever he's taken all his medicine without any problem he still has one more day of antibiotics left um we're going to show you what the ear looks like i'm going to Attempt to clean it out a little bit because it has blood in it. Hi, boy. See what a good boy he is. Right? He's a good boy. Are you a good boy? Huh? And so um, he's used to us messing with it. And it, When we're not with him, we put a plastic cone in addition to this one so he can't get this off and scratch his ear. So we've all done a good job of keeping it safe. And um, now we're going to show you what... It looks like this uh, beagle with his ear removed. He's very patient. He's a patient patient. Right? Right, sir? All right, so it's, I think it's healed up quite well. Um, there's been no infection. There's been nothing. There's a little redness to it. I think part of that is from this um, flap rubbing on it, probably irritating it like right there. Um, and I haven't, like I said, I haven't touched it. And actually, I don't think I'm going to. Do you think I should bother with cleaning it? I don't think I will. I'll let the vet do that. Doesn't look bad. They'll see her in a couple days. Um I see that yeah. other place. I'm afraid I will uh, might mess up something if, if I do that. So um, I'm just going to, he shakes his head a lot, but that's um, that's just what he does. She had, she took out, the, the ear has been sent for biopsy. She also took out a, a lump up here and sent that. Then on his other ear, unfortunately, we have um, two places that aren't looking good. Um, she did biopsy them and the results of that will be back when we go. Um, but they don't seem to be healing the way a sore should heal. So that, that concerns me. If it is the same kind of a problem, if it is cancer and it is the same kind of cancer, then he will have to have that ear removed as well. Yes. You're a good boy though. So, um, this thing has been, we've washed it once, um, but we can't leave him without anything to protect his ear right now until it's, he doesn't seem to be wanting to scratch at it anymore. But I did get him a, uh, a head wrap that, stay right there, that I want to try. This is a relaxing wrap that I got from, I think it's called Happy, Happy Hoods or something like that. Happy Hoodies. And, um, it's for, it's like the, um, the vest you put on them for to calm them, I can't remember, the thunder coat, the, the thunder jacket, whatever it's called. But anyway, I think it's a similar idea as that. Um, I'm not sure why it's purple. It's not my favorite for a boy dog. But anyway, um, I'm going to just try this on him and see how it goes. It's a large size. It's supposed to fit snugly. He's going to need some sort of wrap when he goes in public because I know people are going to be you know, saying, what's wrong, you know, why is your dog having every year and so forth, and instead of explaining it to everybody, I'd rather just cover, <laughs> cover it up so he doesn't have to go through that either, um, but, um, the vet said he's a pity on one side and a, a beagle on the other because he's got that cropped off ear, but, um, Baxter, Baxter, come here, baby, come here, come up here, come in. Come up here. Let me see what he thinks of this. The directions were to slip this on to the back. I have to protect that area. Like that. And then you just pull it up. You put the 
ears and they're snuggly and not not wrinkled like that that looks pretty good actually mm -hmm. that looks pretty cozy actually is that good huh as long as it's not too hot it's really it's supposed to keep them warm but not be too <laughs> I'm not oh, sure boy. what he thinks, but he looks adorable. It's like a babushka. What do you think, Baxter? Huh? What do you think of your new wrap? Uh, my sister has made him a, a headband she's mailed to me. I haven't gotten it yet. So we're going to try different kinds of head covers for him and see which one works best for him. <laughs> he looks funny because he's like, I'm not sure what to do now. I'll just lay here. Does it feel okay? Maybe it's so relaxing that it calmed him down completely. I don't know. Um, while he has that on, though, I'm going to take advantage of the time to clean this. It does get a little blood on it. It's not bad, though. Um, but, you know, anything that's on you for a long time needs cleaning. So I'm going to wash it in cold water and, and uh, put it out in the sun. We're in Florida, so it should dry pretty fast down here. And, um, and we'll just... I'm pretty sure that his ear is protected pretty well from being, getting scratched. And like I said, in two days, he's going to be getting his sutures out. And I think she'll tell us it doesn't need to be covered anymore. So, um, so there he is. And um, so the next thing we have to report on will be his biopsy and his vet visit and see how that turns out. And we're, we're praying that if there'll be good news and that he won't have to lose the other ear. Um, my gut feeling is that she'll recommend that, that they do, um, that they do take the ear just to be sure. And then hopefully then he can live, um, many more years. Um, but he has a lot of energy for a dog that they say they think is 10 when he is not, <laughs> he doesn't look like he has a lot of energy, but he does have a lot of energy when he's outside with my, our other dogs. He runs around and plays and. He's kind of silly, so. But anyway, um, so if you want to continue following, please um, like and subscribe, and you can follow him because he's going to have a lot of adventures um, coming his way with with other people and going to dog parks and things, and we'll see how he does with all that. All right, thank you.